Welcome to this Mobotic short clip tutorial. My name is Florian, enjoy the video. In this tutorial I will guide you through the first steps of the MX Bell app from Mobotics, a free of charge app available in the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. This app is especially developed for door station applications. First I click on the icon to open the app initially. Then I get a pop-up that the app wants to notify me whenever there is a notification. I have to allow that. I have different options now. I can automatically search for reachable cameras in my network. I can tap the plus icon to add a camera manually. And I can open the app with a quick start without integrating a camera to have a look and feel of the interface. So what I'm doing now is to search automatically for cameras in my network. Here I get a pop-up asking me for global access. The username and password that I enter here are being interrogated by the camera. Because I have several cameras with the same login data, I can use this option. Now I get a list with all cameras being found in the network. If the username and password is different from the ones from the global axis, I can adjust them in the right hand side. And if I want to add them, I have to tick the cameras and tap add. Next I get a notification that the push service is being provided by an external service. I have to accept this. Also because I integrated a Mobotic Store Station, I have to activate the push notifications for this. Beware that only Mobotic Store Stations can provide push notifications. Finally I get a live view of my Mobotic Store Station. In my live view I can pan, tilt, zoom, all virtually and gesture controlled. If I want to open the two-way audio channel, I have to tap the speaker icon. If the speaker is enabled, I have also the possibility to mute my own microphone by tapping the middle icon. Lastly, I have the possibility to open the door by tapping the door icon in the lower right corner. When I tap the upper right icon, I get into the playback view. If I tap it again, I'm back in the live view. By tapping the upper left icon, I get into my main navigation. I can open a list with all my cameras and their live views. I can edit them and switch them around and place them. I could delete them or add new ones, or I can adjust camera specific settings. If I want to have a remote access to my camera, I can set the settings here. As you see here, this is a regular Mobotics camera and notifications on Ring is disabled. The reason is that notifications on Ring is only available for Mobotics store stations. I can go back into my main navigation and open the playback view, another list with all of my cameras, and I can go into the playback view here. Go back in the menu, and I have also the possibility to add cameras to a grid. If I want to remotely access my cameras, I can set up locations here to receive bandwidth optimized images. Last but not least, I can set general settings, such as show the full image for all the cameras. Back in the live view, I can turn the iPad and the image of the camera adjusts itself to the size. Now I want to show you how you're being notified by the app whenever someone rings at the door station. In this case, the app is closed, but the iPad is still on. And as you see here, I get a visual and acoustical push notification. I can tap this notification, and I get a live view of my camera. So what I want to do now is shut off the app. And put the iPad in sleep mode. And let's see what happens. And you also get a notification right away. Tap this, enter the password of your iPad. And you get a live view of the camera. 